Is that um, monastery also? Yeah, that's that bit. Ah, okay. Monastery and church. Just down the road and around the corner was one of the most beautiful churches I have ever seen and it was attached to a monastery. The ornations inside were unbelievable. Keeping it clean must be a full-time job, but it is strictly no photos. So that's why we can't show any. The mass was in Polish but we were able to follow it from the standard format of Mass. The church was packed and at the Eucharist there were nine priests giving the sacrament. Hi everyone! We just finished our Church. And now we are wandering are, around heading for the tram. Yeah, we are staying in the our hotel is just near the Jewish quarter. And yeah, we are in the Jewish quarter and I really amazed in the church today. I did not expect how they they worship and I really amazed and up what do you call that one honey? Appreciate. Um, appreciate and respect the the way they they do their worship. Casimir's is a historical district of Krakow. For many centuries, Casimir's was a place where ethnic Polish and Jewish cultures coexisted and intermingled. In layman's terms, Casimir's is called the Jewish Quarter. Today it is one of the major tourist attractions of Krakow and an important center of cultural life of the city. Look at what, what time it will start tomorrow. Around the corner from the hotel is a famous place, around in the middle of a square. They all sell sepakanka. It's a kind of pizza on half a baguette. It's a toasted open-faced sandwich made of a sliced baguette or other long rolls of bread, topped with sautéed white mushrooms, cheese and other ingredients such as ham and other toppings served hot with different kinds of dressings Zapakanka has been a popular street food in Poland since the 1970s Сипёрок. Шинка и сипёрок. 